now, we're leaving Chicago. We're heading over to Allentown, Pennsylvania to take a look at the manufacturing process. Quality, innovation, durability, so many products to be proud of. Welcome to the Tackle Block Manufacturing Site. take you through our manufacturing site. WIIFM is not a country music radio station. It means what's in it for me. What's in it for you means sitting at a kitchen table, sliding that blue covered catalog across the table to those homeowners and explaining the features and benefits and solving their explicit needs with some of the best products in North America. And there's a lot of confusion here on what is and isn't a great quality concrete product. I'll tell you the first bit of confusion is rock salt. A lot of people think that rock salt is detrimental to concrete. It's not. It's what it does to water that is detrimental to concrete. It reduces its freezing point from 32 degrees to 28 degrees, increases its density, and now that it's absorbed into concrete, it can do damage. So having an industry-leading rock salt resistance warranty yeah, it's kind of a big deal, absolutely. Grab that catalog one more time, sit in front of your homeowners, and go over our warranty with them line by line. Explain to them it's the best one in the industry, color through and through, lifetime transferable, lifetime saline, salt, meets and exceeds all the world standards. It's worth that couple minutes, believe me, they'll understand. Spend a few minutes on that section discovering uh, color and color variation, discussing efflorescence and mineral deposits, polyhaze, compactor snowplow removal equipment. They need to know this stuff. At the top of the screen, you see a standard of care that is worth spending some time discussing with them. They're buying the best quality products in North America, but they still should take some pride of ownership, some care in having them. I think, uh, I think the best way to describe this is, I said earlier, I'm a hot rodder. Right, I own a bunch of cars and trucks and motorcycles. I love all that kind of stuff. So let's assume that I have the opportunity and I go buy a Ferrari. I go down to the local Ferrari dealership and I buy what is the best car in the world. You can't argue that point. Best car in the world. It has the best paint job you can put on a car in the world. If there was a better way to do it, Enzo would be doing it. So I'm pretty excited. I'm driving off the lot in my Ferrari. It's Russo red and I'm driving it home. I'm all excited. But I don't park it in the garage. I park it on the street. And I park it on the street under a walnut tree. And in that walnut tree is not a bird's nest but a bird fucking condominium. I drive this car to work every day, five days a week. When I get home, again, I don't park it in the garage. I park it on the street. I park it under the walnut tree with a bird condominium in it. After five years of owning this car, I am disappointed in the quality of the paint job. So I call Marinello, Italy. The lady answers the phone. She says, ciao, Bella. It's such a romantic language. Ciao, Bella. I tell her my story. I've had this car for five years. I love the car, but I drive it to work every day. I park it on the street under this tree with a bird condominium in it, and I am unhappy with the quality of the paint. The next thing she tells me in Italian is a little less romantic. She says, Affangu. <laughs> a lot of you are Italian. You know what that means. I won't translate it. It's less romantic. <laughs> what is she telling me? She's telling me I'm an idiot. What do you mean you bought the best car in the world with the best paint job in the world? And you didn't put a coat of wax on it? You didn't take care of it? It's the same thing with their retaining walls, their pavers, their slabs. Just take care of them. There are great products out there. 
and they will take care of you. I can tell you one thing, the colors are fast. The colors are thermodynamically stable. What does that mean? That means they don't fade in the sun. And we put more in our products than any other manufacturer in North America. They take care of them, they'll take care of you, I promise. We use multiple types of aggregates and sands. They'll be dumped below ground and fed into the silos with what's called a bucket conveyor. The bucket conveyor is feeding the aggregate up to our silos. We don't want to change the sieve analysis of the aggregates that we're using. So by using a bucket conveyor, we can maintain that quality. You'll notice that we're using silos, not bins for our aggregate. Once again, good consistent feed, good consistent gradation of aggregates and sands gives us the highest quality product. We're standing by our pigment dispensing system. We're using granufin, a granular iron oxide based pigment. It's all air blown into the mixers overhead. We can control the dispensing of that pigment within a 30 second of an ounce, maintaining consistent quality and color. Let's take a look at those mixers overhead. Overhead, you see the silos feeding cement into our planetary mixers. We're air blowing Granufin iron oxide pigment in here as well. Our sand, our aggregate, all mixed together before water's even added. Once that's done, I can feed into one of three hoppers a specific color to whatever blend I'm making, feed it below into three separate conveyors, which will eventually feed the machine that's gonna make the block that we're famous for. Let's take a look. That conveyor is collecting from our mixer one, two, or three color blends, feeding our machine, which will eventually feed the mold cavity and produce our G-Force block. Tackle block, we stand for two things innovation and quality. At a quality control, quality insurance station, you can see them applying a precision machined height gauge, making sure that our tolerances are well within what the industry gives us. You can see that product moving along eventually to an elevator. That elevator will bring two layers at a time up so that our finger cart, which is fully automated, will be able to pick up that product that was just produced, insert it into one of the chambers inside of our curing facility, and then go pick up product that is fully cured. The doors that you see are open, are fully cured product. That finger cart will pick them up and bring them over to what we call a low rater. That low rater will bring again down two layers at a time to go across, yet again, a quality assurance, quality control station. Once again, you can see them using precision machined height gauges, checking the quality of every piece as it comes across the line. It will go out, be packaged, and ready for your great project. As our retaining wall block, G-Force, moves down the dry side, it will be picked up by a cuber. That cuber will take the material off of a production pallet and put it onto an actual wood pallet that will end up on a job site. The cubers building full pallets, layer by layer by layer. As that material fills up, reaching a full pallet, we'll move to our packaging line. You'll see the gusset bag being installed to protect that material from the weather. 
a top sheet being inserted, and eventually shrink wrapped and out to the yard. You guys can see in that last overhead shot and this shot on the screen now, we are fully stocked and ready to go for this season. The economy's booming and we're ready to go and so are your dealers as well. So get in touch with them, see what inventory they have on the ground and let's get rolling. Absolutely, let's get rolling. And speaking of rolling, we're leaving Allentown. We're heading outside of Washington, D.C. to Northern Virginia and the National Concrete Masonry Association Lab. National Concrete Masonry Association. This is one of my favorite pictures. And I write these presentations, and that's why I put it in here. And if I have my way, this would be on the cover of our spec guide. I love this. Look at the density. Look at the quantity of the stone. The color through and through. This really says who Techo Block is. And F and T means freeze thaw. And you see it's sitting in a bath of ice, and not just ice, frozen salt water. This really just says who Techo Block is. I love it. A rising tide lifts all boats. That quote is relevant to knowledge and information. It's also relevant because I'm standing next to an absorption bath. You can see our G-force block in here on the scale. We're measuring pounds per cubic foot and density. And the density is relevant to every other test that we're going to conduct today. Hey, Doug, how you doing? Hey, Pete, how you doing? What do we got going on here? We have got ASTM 1262 free saw durability test. OK. Can we see what that looks like? Sure. We're below zero here now, right? Yeah. Let me take one out of here. See the ice in there. Okay, yeah, I can see the ice buildup. And we're testing, like you said, in saline solution. Yeah, saline solution. And Not just relevant to road salts, but relevant to the long-term durability and aesthetics of the block. Absolutely. Now, we're conducting other tests here today as well, right? We are. We have a grid test going on right over here on the other part of the lab. Can we take a look at that? Sure. The test is set up in here right now. It's D6638. And we're measuring the resistance of the grid using hydraulic cylinders, correct? Yes. So yes. we're going to pull to what? Well, these two horizontal cylinders back here have load cells on them. They're going to be pulling this grid out from between the units okay. just as it would be installed in the field. Okay. And these two rams represent a wall height, so we can we have a, we can simulate a wall height load. Okay. With these. As opposed to stacking a bunch of block yeah. up in here. Yes. And this is our G-force unit. Yes. Okay. And I think this is a great representation of how NCMA and TechoBlock are committed to the integrity of the SRW Absolutely. industry. Thanks for your time. You're welcome. That video in its entirety will be loaded up on our YouTube channel, so you'll be able to explain freestall durability, compressive strength, absorption rate, grid pull-out test, and shear strength test. We're, our expectation simple. Hold our feet to the fire. We say we're the best. Prove it. Well, we do every single day. We have the data to give it to you, and you should demand it from others as well. So now, let's look at GeoGrid and how it works, in this case, in a retaining wall.
bid on the wall job is three to five thousand dollars more than the pickup truck and knucklehead contractor that was there a day or two before you. How do you convince them that they need to have that geogrid and its placement, its depth, and its type? How do they understand global stability planes, internal compound stability planes, the friction angle of soils? How could they possibly? Well, I'll tell you how. Take them to our YouTube channel. Download this animation onto your iPad, your iPhone, your computer, and use it. Explain to them what a global stability plane, how we're expanding the gravity mass of the block alone to include the soil reinforced zone, and that's what's going to give them their integrity. They can't skip it. And believe me, there are a lot of walls in Connecticut that are done wrong. So get this animation in front of more people, and you'll get your price for the job. That's why it's there. Now here's another great tool. Back on the Knowledge Base website, go into our wall design checklist. You guys, we have a free uh, engineering. If you guys need preliminary designs, fill out this list, send it to us. We'll send it up to our engineers and do a prelim design for you. Or print off 100, 200 copies, put your logo on it, put it in your truck. Anytime you're specking a wall job, go through this checklist for your benefit and you guys know what you're getting into on that wall project. Does that make sense? Whenever you're bidding a job as a salesperson, as a designer, have a copy of this with you. You've got single wall, you've got tiered walls, you've got soil types, you've got surcharge load, you've got notes and remarks. Is there downspouts on the building? Where's everything plumbed to? All that data needs to be in the job jacket. Don't miss this opportunity as well, folks. Run 100, 200 copies. Have them with you at all times. Fill them in. If you need our help, no problem. Submit them to us. We'll give you the preliminary design for estimating purposes. You submit it. We'll give you the design with all the math. Most of that's in your spec guide with wall placement charts. This is a great tool.